Okay, I am excited for this juicy bonus chapter, which is all about growing your art community. I know this is something people ask me about, so I'm just going to share a few things that I know has definitely had an impact on me growing my art community, growing my art sales, and sharing my art with the world. Um, so the first thing, and I remember vividly setting this up and kind of didn't realise what kind of impact it would have, and it's an underrated one, which is Pinterest. And I know that some people say like, oh, Pinterest is underrated, but it seriously is. Like Pinterest is the Google for creatives. It's like visual search for creatives. And so many people, if you're looking for inspiration on what to paint, if you're looking for inspiration on what to fill your home with in terms of art, everyone goes on Pinterest. Like you don't Google that, you go on Pinterest and you make a little mood board, vision board. And so setting up a Pinterest business account and putting consistently, I don't do this anymore because I've kind of got rubbish about it, but when I was consistently putting out pins on Pinterest of my artwork, my impressions per month, I think at one point was on like 1.4 million impressions a month. And I don't actually have that many followers on Pinterest. Like I don't think people really follow on Pinterest. I think I've got like a thousand followers, but like when I was, and still I haven't posted a pin in months, which is terrible but I still have consistently 500,000 impressions a month, which means that people are still consistently finding me. Like when you put your stuff on platforms and try and share your world on TikTok and Instagram, which are both great, they, those posts don't live forever. So you have to like keep putting in the effort. Whereas if you put something on Pinterest and you research the tags, I think there's something called Tailwind or something like that that you can use to look at the tags that you should use on Pinterest to promote whatever it is that you're looking to promote, it lives on like forever and people repin it. And it's just, I honestly would urge you to start posting on Pinterest because it is invaluable. And the number of people that have said like, oh, I've seen you on Pinterest before, but I'm so glad that I found you on TikTok or on Instagram as well is countless. And loads of people have bought from me on Pinterest as well. So definitely one to remember. Also with Pinterest, make sure that your social media or your website or whatever it is that you're using as like a more formal I guess social media channel is linked to each one of those pin posts so that people can like actually find you and communicate with you from Pinterest that is very important the other thing about sharing your art and I guess like growing your community is you do have to get comfortable with sharing yourself so I started my Instagram was the first thing that I ever started and I think for maybe the first year, I only posted like flat lays of what I was doing, which is fine. And I think I had like, for the first year, I think I got up to like 200 followers or something, which is good. But people are never going to connect with your art if you don't share a little bit about yourself. Like you have to get comfortable about sharing the process behind your art, sharing a bit about you as an artist. And yeah, people just like to put a face to like art is a very emotive um thing to buy and thing that people connect with it's not like when you're going grocery grocery shopping people don't care as much about like the farmer who's growing their vegetables they kind of do actually in a way but art people want to know about you so you really have to get comfortable and you don't have to do as much as me and like talk to the camera all the time but having shots of you with your artwork taking little videos of your like process people love to see process videos of you painting they always get the most likes on social media and the most like engagement on social media. And I know it will feel awkward at first to do this, but honestly, it makes such a difference when people actually know you and you're putting yourself out there as like a proper artist who is proud to be sitting next to their work. Like having that image of you sitting there smiling with your artwork or sitting there, even if you're looking pensive with your artwork, people want to see that and it makes a lot of difference to your credibility as an artist, I guess. But I think by far, if I wasn't going to say Pinterest was my number one platform, because Pinterest has been a low effort platform to me that has given me a lot of gains. But I feel like my number one platform to actually grow a community for me has been TikTok, because I feel like it's so much more casual. You can engage with people really quickly and easily. And I feel like you can put up more casual content without having to feel like you're putting lots of pressure on yourself to make like this pristine 
super aesthetic reel of you creating. So I would say that TikTok is like a less scary platform to put yourself out there on um, than Instagram, I don't know why, but I would suggest like starting a TikTok and just seeing what other creators are doing to start with, but then find your own kind of voice, talk about things that interest you within art um, and try and like actually engage your audience, like give some value back, um, yeah. All of that will definitely help you to grow a like-minded community. The other things that I've done like outside I guess of social media which have been super value valuable in like sharing my art have been one I've been a art coach for since 2021 I think May 2021 and through that I will I used to be teaching like every week or sometimes a couple of times a week and every class that I taught I would introduce myself and say, hi, I'm Katie, I'm an artist. And from that, you can grow your Instagram with people. People could look at my stuff whilst they were obviously doing their own painting. But that has helped me grow. I think it's a smaller community um, because people are obviously there to create their own art. Um, but showing up and saying, this is me, this is the work that I create. Luckily, also in my studio, I also had one of my pieces there. So I could be like, this is my piece. Um, just helps you to c connect with people like one-to-one -one in that same, like you don't get that same opportunity when you're doing that um, through social media to actually talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and also lots of people used to drop into the studio and I would use that opportunity to try and sell my art. Um, so, I know art coaching isn't for everyone, but I found it super useful to like build my community and also connect with the other artists, which is like really a lovely thing to do because they also like repost your art and share it with their communities. And I feel like, yeah, it's all one big circle, uh, which is really helpful. The other thing, and I'm looking to do this more this year, is exhibition. So I had, was part of an exhibition at that studio but also my most recent exhibition has been at the Sophie T, Sophie T Gallery in central London. And that was so useful to grow my artist network, but also to share my art. Like the footfall that you get from an exhibition is insane when you're like somewhere central and somewhere that lots of people visit like Carnaby. And I think to have it in like an even bigger gallery would be crazy like I would love to be in the RA summer exhibition because I just know so so many people go to it um so every opportunity that you can apply to exhibitions do not d get disheartened if you don't get um accepted straight away like it takes time and like perseverance but write your artist bio write your artist statement and just apply to these exhibitions because you never know and I feel like that physical impact is just super useful and invaluable. So yeah, Pinterest, I would say definitely, that would be my number one thing. Set up a Pinterest account and start posting because I think, especially if you're nervous about putting yourself out there on social media, Pinterest is a really great way to like get exposure for your art. Um, Pinterest, TikTok, um, just apply for things like apply for art coaching, um, apply for things in your local community. Uh, and yeah, show up as your authentic self and people will want to buy from you. As your authentic self, explain about your art and people will want to connect with you.